Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a little look at a new add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, some freeware add-on that's been talked about a lot over the last couple of days and it's Toolbar Pushback by Ambitious Pilots. It's on flightsim.to. Those of you who watch the channel regularly will know that I use FS2 Cruise Pushback Express a lot which is a payware version or payware option for pushback uh, program if you like but also there's pushback helper as well which is another freeware add-on available for the sim which allows you to control the pushback uh, and things like that so we're going to take a look at toolbar pushback and I'm going to talk about the differences between the payware option from FS2 crew toolbar pushback which is the one that we've got today we're going to check out and pushback helper as well now pushback helper is an add-on program freeware that's been around for quite a few months and it's had over 70,000 downloads from flightsim.to and it's hugely popular and FS2 Cruise Pushback Express has been around for probably just as long as well and that's a payware version which is about 20 to 25 pounds uh, with the occasional 30% off discount but this is brand new it's currently version 1.0.1 and uh, really easy to install flightsim.to the links in the description down below guys and once you've downloaded it you quite simply extract the zip file and put the extracted folder into your community folder and then boot the sim that's it you're then going to have in your toolbar a pushback toolbar option if we click into that it's quite nice it's quite uh, intuitive built into the sim actually if you like so it almost looks like it's uh, part of Microsoft Flight Simulator, but of course they've put at the bottom here, created by Ambitious Pilots. And there's a couple of options. Now one thing that strikes me the most is the fact that this has pretty much got all of the options that you've got in a Payware Pushback Express program. Um, so if we check it out, we're at Mac of Simulations Manchester Airport, we can enable the jetway. Obviously we don't have stairs, but if it was stairs instead, we would select that. We can trigger the baggage, we could trigger the catering. And we can call the fuel truck and stuff if we want to as well. And if we w wish as well, we can add ground power to the aircraft too. We've got the Latin VFR Arex Europe pack as well, which is why we've got all these liveried Menzies ground power unit gate gourmet trucks and things, which is a fantastic little add-on. Now, by contrast, or by comparison, FS2 Cruise Pushback Express has got a similar thing but it's a separate add-on program and you have to run it separately alongside the simulator and it's great you get uh, you know there's voice options on FS2 Cruise Pushback Express so you can you can command the program via your voice which is something that this doesn't yet allow although you know in the future it may well do so and again, that's the difference between FS2 Cruise Pushback Express and also Pushback Helper, which has been around for some time too. So lots to consider really. The UI is really clean. Yeah, we've got simply got there, quite simply, start pushback, also calls tug when available. And we've got one here, as you guys can see. There's a tug speed option, tug direction, forward and reverse. But it also, similar to Pushback Express, which is what I use the most, you can use rudder to steer the tug. And that's the feature that I love the most about this because it allows us to have that accurate pushback without worrying about just having to click left and right and uh, it getting a little bit messy. Let's get rid of the jetway. And we can cancel all of that stuff as well. There's a part break option so we can disable and, a and, a and enable the we can disable and enable the parking brake, of course. So let's get rid of ground power too. And we can just minimise it there, up into the corner of the screen. We're ready for pushback, so we stick our beacon on. We've got our APU on as well for power. We're in the heavy division mod for the 787-10. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below, folks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All the links to everything that's included in this video today are going to be in the description for the video down below. Let's go ahead and get our pushback then. There's two options for this. We can press the classic Shift plus P to trigger the pushback, or we can just press the pushback icon. 
here start pushback and I'm going to use my rudder pedals to control the tug. Now we've left the park brake on and the UI is telling us we need to release the parking brake at the top here so we can either do that manually which I'm going to do or we can press the button. So me doing it with my controls itself actually cleared that UI warning. We can increase the tug speed so we can push that up. There we go. We can go forwards if we want. We can change the direction like so. Or, which is my preferred option, we can control it using rudder pedals to steer the tug. Like so. Although that is pretty violent, so you know, gently does it. That's the uh, sharpest turn I've ever seen. There we go. Just an ever so slight gentle input on the rudder pedals there, and you can see that we're turning the aeroplane. We can go ahead and just minimise that. Naturally, we'd be starting the engines as well as we go. and we'll be aiming to push back onto the yellow line, of course. So the maximum tug speed is that. I mean, that's pretty quick. So you've got to be careful there because some aircraft, the nose can uh, jolt up into the air sometimes if the sim bugs out. And obviously the slowest is almost a stop. But we've got full control here of, of uh, the speeds and things. Really fantastic bit of, uh, bit of software here for the sim. And if we want to, we can go, you know what, I want to pull the aircraft forwards a bit to clear a stand to the side. So there we go, we can just pull the aeroplane forwards. And again, we have got left and right rudder steering. So really quite awesome. We can stay in the cockpit if we want to, we can stay in the flight deck and let the uh, program do all the work for us. Those of you who might be aircraft engineers will be familiar with this. Yeah, you'll be sitting there and the, the tug will be taking you back onto stand, for example, out of the engineering blocks. So out of the three then, we've got three different options. We've got the new toolbar pushback, which is built into the sim here with this great UI from Ambitious Pilots. We've also got FS2 Cruise Pushback Express, which is a payware version. Around about 20 to 25 pounds, depending on if it's on sale or not. Uh, which is the one I regularly use. Um, but in addition to that, we've also got Pushback Helper, which has been around for quite a few months with a, a nice simple UI. But again, it's another add-on program that runs alongside the sim. Out of the three, which one I would choose? Most definitely this one. I think this is absolutely fantastic. Um, I love the ability to control the tug either by the buttons at the top here in the UI for the toolbar itself um, or using the rudder pedals. I love the ability to change I love the ability to change the tug speed as well of course. We can increase that, decrease that, we can bring the tug to a stop suddenly if we want to. And we can also send the aeroplane forwards and reverse. The huge plus for me with this is the fact that we've got a really easy way to control all of our ground services, doors, controls, everything, and that's quite an important feature really for this add-on, the pushback, which makes it really good to use, and it works very well I've got to say. It's probably the, the, the best one out of the three that I've got for user interaction and the way it all works. No one necessarily really needs a pushback express which can be controlled via voice. The one thing I never really liked about FS2 Cruise Pushback Express was the fact that some of the voices on there were a little bit odd. Um, and it all seemed a little bit um, a little bit false if you like, whereas this is just a, a nice, clean, pure pushback system that works very well. End pushback, pop the part brake on. And again, we can call catering, baggage, jetway, and everything else. Out of the three then, as I was saying earlier, most definitely this one's probably the one to pick out the three of them. Certainly, there's no real reason to purchase the FS2 Crew 
pushback express add-on anymore because this does everything and the fact that it's built into the sim makes it a really nice clean UI without having to worry about running extra programs and things. If you want to trigger the pushback quickly you can just go shift P and uh, you'll go ahead and start the pushback process. Uh, all in all an exceptional mod. I know that there's a features list that's going on at the minute with the Google Forms and uh, I've actually submitted a bit of feedback myself on there um, specifically the fact that a hold button would be really good so perhaps by the time you guys watch this there might be an ability in here to hold the tug in position so you know if, if uh, all of a sudden an aircraft pushes behind us on that sim and we want to hold our position uh, or we have our pushback cancelled we can just click hold and it will just freeze the process in place until we then click unhold and it will continue nice and easily so uh, you know, out of the three this is definitely by far miles ahead of the other programs and I really recommend it let me know what you think in the comments below if you've got any feature ideas or anything like that then um, of course stick them in the comments hopefully the developer will see them and be sure to hit like and subscribe in the meantime though until the next live stream folks as always thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed today's video